It is Wednesday, and that means the Fox 9 Town Ball Tour is rolling on we're, this morning. We're back, mm -hmm. and our uh, stop will be in Piers, which is a about two hours north of the Twin Cities. Uh, that's where we find our Saquon this morning. Uh, you're at Red's Auto and Bait. I love it. And it sounds like it's a popular hangout spot there in town, say. Yes, uh, we are here right now and there are so many people. I mean, it's 6.30 in the morning and there are so many people inside right now. They're getting their coffee. They're talking to the cashiers. There's a lot of activity. And you might notice behind me, there's a lot of bake here as well. And that is in the name of this place. It's a lot, you know, it's a, a lot of people stop by here when they're on their way up north. Maybe they're going fishing for the weekend. A lot of people get their bait here. I want to introduce you guys to Pam Sitzman. You're one of the owners here. Tell me a little bit about this place. I mean, again, there are so many people here, and it's only 6.30 in the morning. Is this regular for you guys? It is. It is re very regular. We have a um, different flow of traffic right now with school being out, but otherwise you'd see a lot of the young high school kids coming through on their way to school. and. These are a lot of hard workers that are coming through every day here. Yeah. yeah. It seems like there's, you know, there's like restaurants here. A lot of people are sitting down here as well. Walk with me as we kind of show around what's what's going on. And you were born and raised in Piers? In Lastrop, a little town six miles north of here. And okay. yeah, so it's as close as you can get to Piers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the energy here is awesome. Again, so many people out here this morning. Would you say you probably know every single person that stops in here? Uh, a good majority of them, yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're about to meet your husband, who also yeah. owns this place with you. How did you guys meet really quick before we introduce you guys to Red? Back, way back in high school. Uh, uh, back as far as seventh grade, probably, is when we really met. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And a Sadie Hawkins dance, correct? Yes, it is. <laughs> and it was right here in Piers. It's a really yeah. cute story. All right, Pam, thank you so much. Guys, Red is here this morning. Red, again, the husband, another owner here. Uh, you have a really cool picture, and you were showing this. Kind of detail this picture and what we're seeing here. Well, this picture here is basically when I was back in 1960, when I was about three years old. There's a picture here that shows a place that I had bought in back then, 37 years ago. A little Ma and Pa gas station with a nice big house off to the side and a giant lumber yard. And with that, with that picture there. It was all once, and now we tore that all down. We owned that for 11 years, and then 11 years later, we tore it down, and we built this place. With, yeah, it was uh, it was kind of cool. When I look back, this lumber yard burned down back in '65, and they rebuilt it. But then when we bought it, we tore we tore all three buildings down, and and what became Red Auto today. That is such a cool yeah, it's story. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you look at it. And then, again, when I look back at it, like I said, it, we're, I'm originally from Piers all my life, you know, and it's, it's, we know everybody and everybody. A small town is the coolest place to live. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, and so cool that you were there for the transformation of it, obviously. I mean, yes. you were behind all of that. So very cool story, Red. Thank you so much for sharing that with yes, us. You bet. Thank um, you. Again, this is Red's Auto and Bait Shop uh, here in Piers. You can see there are people hanging out. They're drinking coffee together. Uh, they are ready for a big day here for town ball Woo! everyone's getting excited uh, but yeah we have a lot of incredible guests kind of coming up here this morning as well we're gonna head to feelings meets in a little bit we're gonna learn a little bit about bologna days i'm oh, interested yes. in hearing what that's all about now okay. have you had bologna yet say have you ever had bologna like a bologna sandwich no i have I've had a bologna sandwich, yeah. but bologna days, I don't, I can't say that I've ever participated in something yes. like that. So. Until you've had fried bologna, you haven't lived, say, yeah. just so you know. That okay, yeah. okay. Something special. All right, good to know. All right, say, thank <laughs> you. Those are our kind of people right there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>